Hey guys, it's JMC, and this is my prediction for 355 for Berserk, man. If you have not read 354, go read that chapter. That, that brought me to tears, man. Casca has finally been awake after all this time. We, oh God, her, her, getting her back her memory and her actions has been debated in anime and manga for years, man. It's one of the most talked about things that's been going on. What was she doing in years, man? It's just insane. So this is my prediction. Um, I'm guessing they're gonna go. I'm guessing they're gonna go back to the party, and I'm guessing that they're all gonna see at least Casca walking with Farnes and uh, Surikate. Man, Farnes has come a long way from an unlikable character, one of my most favorite characters of all time, man. And I'm I'm hoping that because she's there to see big a big role, Casca more getting more heal and on progress, her getting back to her training. But it's it's so. We don't know what's gonna happen in this one, man. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least give him my, give him my all. So anyway, I think her and Casca are gonna just look at each other. I have, a, I have a feeling that Casca is probably gonna slap him, maybe because she doesn't want to remember the eclipse. But she probably won't slap him at all, man. But I feel like I don't know if I'm alone with this, but I feel like she's gonna call him you fool, and she's just gonna look at him. She's gonna look at the scars. She's gonna look at his left arm. Um, what's no wait? Oh, uh, his right. I was about to say right eye oh, man i'm trying i'm trying to remember oh man this like so I'm, I'm so sorry if i'm butchering this right now man but she's gonna look at his right eye and then she's gonna look at his left arm being gone and a lot of people did point out that the arm but the if this page was mirrored or not something like that the page with the two pager that guts his grom that guts his arm has growth back but we'll just have to see if that was mirrored or not but anyway that what I'm what I'm speculating is this, is that she's probably gonna say you fool, and maybe she's gonna be brought down to tears just seeing that how guts is not only bleeding for her, but losing limbs as well, man. His eye, his arm, that he was going all out. Now, of course, since Mini Casca went inside the heart, she's gonna remember that he attacked her. This ain't the first time this happened, but this happened in Volume Nine, and that I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be one of the most deepest moments ever and that maybe they're gonna probably talk about what they should do with griffith and that maybe she wants to go with him I, i'm i'm gonna come out and say that maybe she probably wants to go probably try to fight griffith but not only that maybe time has probably moved forward because again when um when they was talking to it's us mom that time flows differently, and maybe a few years has probably gone by. Maybe a few months. Who knows? We'll probably find out then. Um, I'm not, my last speculation, I also thought that they was going to find out if it's going to probably be Moonlight Boy. In a way, I'm kind of glad they didn't. I was wrong about that prediction. But maybe that when they see him again, we'll probably get a confirmation. Now, we don't know when Moonlight Boy is going to appear in front of him again. Maybe it's going to be in that realm. We don't know exactly what's going to happen by him. I am so glad. That Casca's finally awake. We're gonna probably gonna see exactly what's gonna happen in a few weeks too, man. It's not gonna hiatus, man. He's just knocking them out, dude. If we get at least, if he goes on hiatus after this, and we get at least four more chapters by the end of this year, man, I'll be happy, dude. We get eight chapters of Berserk. I'll be so happy about that. Or seven. I want to say eight, but seven. But I, I kind of do want a whole year of Berserk, man. I, I think all of you guys want to as well. But um, other than that, man, what are you guys' speculations of what's gonna happen in this next chapter, man? But that's my speculation. I think Casca and Guts are gonna look at each other. I think she's probably gonna hit him. That's that's kind of uh, that's kind of the whole way of Casca and Guts' relationship. And I think they're gonna talk. I think she's gonna like kind of break down that Guts has been protecting her all this time. It's like no matter what's gonna happen. It also go like what Lucas said. But I also really want to talk about her. I really want to do a video about her as well, man. Especially that house. No matter what, Guts is gonna save her. No matter what. And, man, it just looks like he's going full speed ahead, man. This is my speculation. I feel like she's going to break down crying. I feel like they're going to talk about what's going to happen with Griffith and his kingdom. And what's going to move forward with this chapter, man. It's just going to, it's just going to be a very, very emotional chapter. So, that's my predictions. I could be wrong about this thing. About how she's going to look at Guts. Look how he lost his arm, his eye. Talking about the eclipse. Talking about what's going to be happening in the future. Her over training. Moonlight Boy, I'm not, I'm not 100% certain Moonlight Boy is going to appear in that chapter. That'll be too much. We want, we want to, I want another built towards that. So, was, but again, those thorns around her heart. Maybe Minnie Casco actually went in there and actually unraveled those thorns. We don't know. We really don't know what's going to happen, man. But this is the most anticipated chapter 
in my opinion, in manga in manga history, man, this Casca's been like this for twenty over twenty two years, man. It's insane. All right, there. So let me know what you guys think about this chapter and what you guys think is gonna happen in chapter three on three hundred fifty five. This is GMC. Later.